Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Let's wait a few minutes. Let everyone join. We'll uh, start in a couple of minutes. No, we are waiting a couple of minutes until everyone joins. We'll start in a, in a couple of minutes. Oh and we'll start in about one minute. We're just waiting for more people to join and then we'll start with the webinar. Okay, let's see. More people are joining. One more minute. Okay, I think we can start. So welcome everyone to our webinar today. My name is Ilan. I'm the VP of Marketing here at Gaviti, and I'm extremely thrilled to introduce our exciting new model. Uh, we're going to introduce cash application and credit application management. These models are designed as an integral part of Gaviti, your error management platform, and will seamlessly streamline your entire invoice to cash flow. Next slide. So in today's session, we have a diverse audience. Uh, we have Gaviti customers, and we have those who are not yet customers, but are interested in these two new models. Uh, and we divided our webinar into two parts. First, we'll dive into the cash application model, and then we'll explore the credit application management model. Each part will feature insights from Gaviti valued customers uh, who, who are uh, gracing us with the presence, uh, an overview of the model and an opportunity for Q&A to ask uh, some questions. And throughout the session, so please feel free to post your questions using the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen. Uh, in addition to Leah, who will be hosting the webinar, we have Roy Livni, our VP of product, who will chime in if needed. Uh, if we are not able to answer your questions during the webinar, we will be sure to address them in the follow-up. Uh, now, without further ado, let's meet our speaker, Leah Jacobson, the VP of Customer Success at Gaviti, and on to you, Leah. Thank you, Milan. So, hi, everybody. I'm very excited to be here today. It's actually the first time, I think, that we're hosting a, a live webinar to our customers. And like Ilan said, we're going to start with a cash application and then deep dive to the credit management. So the first thing that we will do, uh, I want to introduce uh, Clement Gonzalez from Italian Global Services. Uh, hi, Clement, how are you? Hi, Leah. Hi, everyone. Nice. I'm good, I'm good at you. Great. So Clement is going to share with us um, the challenges when they and Italian want to do the uh, cash application. Um, any challenges that you're facing on the day-to-day -day, uh, struggles that you have, we would like to hear. And then perhaps we will hear from someone else from the audience. So Clement, the stage is yours. Of course. So maybe first to give a bit of introduction, um, I'm the treasury manager for Italian and I've been responsible for two to three years now for the cash flow management and the credit application and account receivable processes. And Italian Global Services is a big corporation because we are present uh, all over the world in the cleaning industry and we are making around $3 billion of revenue. Um, now for the US part, which is the subsidiary I'm working on, is, um, I mean, we, are, we, have, we have encountered a lot of challenges in the cash applications. And right now we have a, a process that, it, that is, I would say, semi-automated. 
meaning that we have an integration between our bank, uh, Bank of America, and our ERP system. Um, and the challenge is that we we cannot we would love to have this process fully automated, but today uh, we are receiving a lot of checks and a lot of electronic transfers such as ACH and wires that are not coming with remittance information and invoice numbers. And that is why sometimes uh, we have to go back to a fully manual process to apply an invoice, a payment to an invoice, uh, because we have to go in via email and ask the customer, what did you want to pay exactly? And of course, it's a lot of back and forth and uh, manual process, yeah. So Claret, if I can ask, so actually what you are saying that let's say that you have customer that paid few invoices in one bulk. So mm -hmm. this is a challenge that you struggle in order to understand what are the invoices or if the name of the customer in the bank records is different from the name in your records, then you're trying to understand and in the end we're talking about manual work to try to match every transaction in order to close the invoice. Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. You, you have something further to add? So, yeah, no, I mean, I think, I don't know if, I think most of the participants are from the US as well, but I think also there's the specificity of the US with the log boxes. We receive mm -hmm. checks. We receive a, number, a lot of checks in the US and all of them are then uh, received by the bank and compiled um, with a logbox. And then you see this uh, line item on your bank statements with only one item, but it's for 50 checks for different customers. So that can be a challenge as well. Okay. So first of all, thank you. And it's exactly why we uh, develop this module in the VT to help you allocate all the invoices and the payments. Um, so before we deep dive to the a live demo, I want to show you um, some of the main benefits that we're going to have with this model. First of all, our main goal was to automate the process. Think that you have 100 invoices per month. You can still do it manually. Perhaps you will have uh, errors here and there but it's still something that can be managed. Once you have 2,000 or 3,000 invoices per month, to manage this process manually will take a lot of resources. You will probably have mistakes and um, it will going to be really, really difficult. In order to do that, we created three layers of the solution. The first one is 100% match. Let's say that you're using a Gaviti payment provider. Then think that we can track the invoice from the first day it was created in Gaviti. We know when you send the invoice to your customer. We can see uh, when it was paid and you, we have the information from your bank. So we can match the, the payment from the bank in 100%. But if you don't use Gaviti payment provider, it's also okay because we created an AI statistical model, which will reduce your manual work. And we actually offer you three invoices that can match this transaction. And then you will be able to choose. So instead of sitting and trying to match the invoices to the bank, our AI algorithm will give you the three best offer and you only need to um, confer them. Also, it's very important to say that think that you have one or two person doing that in your organization and they know all the tricks and the different customer name. But once this person is leaving the company, so the knowledge is gone and you need to start, to start from scratch. You will be able to connect to our module um, any bank account that you have or if you have few bank accounts in the same bank, we have no limitation on that. So without further explanation, I'm going to deep dive directly to the live demo. So we can see here under the cash application, all the bank transaction from this customer, you will be able to connect your bank transaction via the VT in very fast way. And I want to emphasize that we having only a view version, meaning it's a one-way data. 
we can't change the data, we can't touch your uh, information in the bank, we can't change the transaction. We just have a mirror and we see all the um, transaction from multiple banks. In this case, we see that we have Chase and Bank of America. Now, I want to show you two uh, very common examples. The first one will be here. This uh, payer paid through, um, sorry, it's not this one. I want to show you an example that um, a payer paid through Gaviti, uh, from Gaviti payment provider. So this uh, bank transaction arrived from Chase. You can see here all the amount. Now, because all the payers of these customers using the payment provider, so we know exactly what this amount contains. And we can see here that we have one invoice of 3M company, we have two invoices for FedEx, and we have another invoices from Abbott Laboratories, meaning if in the beginning you would saw this total amount in your bank and you need to start and understand what invoices this amount is contained, so we have all the um, information here. In this case, you don't need to do anything. It is already be written, and you see here the invoice ID. Now, another scenario that can be, like I said before, that or this payer didn't use uh, the payment uh, provider that uh, uh, we have, or that you're using some, some other company to do your payments, and it's totally fine. In this case, you can see that Gaviti suggest, suggested an option to this amount. We found the customer, we found the invoice ID, and this amount. In this case, what you need to do is only accept. Another scenario can be that Gaviti will offer here two or three invoices that similar to the amount, because think that we know when your customer needs to pay, we know the amounts, we know the due date. So we have all the information, and this is why the algorithm can suggest you the three best offer. You will choose the best one that you think that is fit to this transaction, click accept, you will save it, and the invoice will appear, uh, where is it? Here, here, under uh, Texo, and we see the invoice here. So another thing that we uh, can do while we're using this window is to do some filter. Let's say that you have three or four bank accounts and you don't want to look on everything together. So you can filter it according to the bank name and then do the matching. You can filter that by the, um, back, by the date. Let's say that I want to see all the transaction from the beginning of the month until today. I will save it and then I will see um, only those transactions. So you can filter the report. And once you're done, you can export this report and upload to your ERP. We will work together with you to understand what exact columns uh, you need in order to have the best fit to your ERP. And once this uh, bank transaction allocate to invoices and approved, you can upload this information to your ERP or any other software that um, that you're using. So if I want to summarize um, summarize this module, first of all, we don't have we don't have to do any more manual work. We have all the information in one place. The knowledge don't go lost if someone leaves the company or change position. You have everything in one place. You don't have to run between different bank accounts or different uh, customers. Everything is transparent if your manager or someone else wants to see that. And like I said, we can uh, you can upload it back to your um, ERP. Um, so um, let's go to some questions from the audience, if we have uh, some questions. Uh, yes. 
We have a few questions. Just a reminder, you have a Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen. If you want to, to ask any questions, click on it, type your question, and we'll try and answer it. So we do have a, a, a few questions. The first question is uh, the countries. What countries are relevant for Gaviti Cash application? So the countries will be um, US and Canada. We have in Europe, Belgium, Germany, we have a wide we have a wide uh, we have a wide list of uh, countries. It it won't be only on the U.S. and with time we will develop more and more. But it's definitely wider than just uh, countries in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you already mentioned it, but I don't know if there's anything to elaborate. But how can we upload data from Gaviti to our ERP? So I will go back to the um, to the live demo again. Once you finish to allocate and approve the transaction, we have here a icon. We can export this report. And like I said, if you have a special needs, like you need only some of the columns or there are specific columns that you need, we will define it with you in one time. And then every ERP can upload this uh, this uh, this icon with this information. It will save you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Uh, next question is, uh, you know, the, the other cash application platforms out there, what makes Gaviti's cash application stand out? So it's a good question. So first of all, the fact that you have everything, including the AR in Gaviti. Think that we can track your invoices from the first day it was created. We know the history of the payment of the customers. We know the due dates. We know who from your, from your team is, uh, is managing this account. So it's not just a regular cash application, but it's connected live to your AR information and give you um, a 100% view of, 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 all your, uh, of all your process. Yeah. Um, oh, an interesting question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you handle customers who short pay an invoice? Maybe, Roy, you can help with that? So for um, for customers who uh, short pay an invoice, we could um, indicate it. And what we are doing today is that we are not managing um, invoices that are closed, meaning that in terms of uh, process, you will see um, you will see, and we will be able to match um, the invoice, but not the total sum of it. And you need to approve it. Once you close it at the ERP, meaning um, that you handle that short pay, and it will also be closed at Gaviti platform. In case that they will do a second payment, then we would also be able to track it and assign the additional sum to that invoice as well. Okay, and or if you already <laughs> answered the question, I think there's another one uh, that's relevant for you. Yeah. What security measures, you know, and place to protect, you know, sensitive financial data? General Gaviti question. Yeah, we support all the um, security standards that are needed in our industry. That means the ISO 27701. And we also support uh, SAML 20, which means that uh, our users would be able to sign in using their own um, SSO, single sign on mechanism. So, in that respect, uh, we are covering all the security requirements that are needed. Um, Leah, another one for you. How easy it is for our team to get started and implement the cash application? Okay, model? so in this case, it's really simple. You just log in. I would go back to the demo for a second. Here, under the set setting part, one second, under the setting part, you will have partners. You will just need to log in, click. It will be approved. and within 12 hours, all the data will be uh, floating back to Gaviti. So you don't need your uh, IT team, you don't need integration, you don't need to use a card. Um, you just register any bank account that you want, you need to do it once, and that's it. It will take a few hours until all the data will flow to Gaviti, um, and that's it. Um, there's another question, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I fully, uh... Uh, so and a lot are asking about the, the short pay, I must say. And the, about that? Uh, short pay payments. Um, how does the fee get applied that the payment provider takes out? The whole invoice amount 
paid doesn't get transferred to the bank. So, yeah. Okay. So um, when applying fees, this is something that uh, we could configure at the backstage so we can deduct it or add it automatically to, to the uh, sum paid. Um, in the end, the way that uh, Gaviti platform works is whether the invoice is open or closed. So on your end, you would be able to close or um, keep the invoice open. So you would have the discretion whether um, the fee was paid or not. If you want us to configure it and add the additional fee to the total sum, you just let us know and we'll add it to, um, to the configuration. Um, I think that basically covers it. You could also add it to the sum paid for that specific invoice if, if you wanted to just you know uh, make that adjustment. It's mm -hmm. basically up to you and it's uh, configurable. Uh, so, so two more questions, and then we'll move to the next section, to the credit yes. application. Uh, if there is a, a short payment fixed in our accounting system, does the adjustment flow to Gaviti with a daily import, or does it need uh, to be fixed manually in Gaviti as well? And what does Gaviti do with an overpayment? Oh, nice question. Um, so with regards to overpayments, we will do the matching always for the invoice ID. Everything that goes through Gaviti Pay uh, will be able to match it. If somebody is paying um, more than he needed, that would be left for your discretion. We would do the matching. We would uh, make the reconciliation on behalf of you, but you'll need to make sure that it is um, adjusted in the ERP. All the data that we are using is the data that is coming from the ERP. We are not um, changing this data. We are helping you with the reconciliation process. Um, for the exportable file for upload to the ERP, is the uh, integration option to push the cash application data into ERP and what ERPs are supported? And I think that's also a general question. So, so this is um, this is a good question because this is something always uh, in debate within Gaviti. Um, we still think that there need to be a uh, human that looking at the data before it's updated at the ERP. This is our current approach. So what we are doing is providing you with the export functionality. You could export it into um, any, um, any kind of format that you need in order to update the ERP, but we do still recommend that somebody would look at the files, would look at the information, make sure that everything is working as expected. We know that some you know, some companies in the industry are pushing the data without any human um, uh, checking it. And currently we think this is not the optimal uh, process. Um, okay, and one last question. <laughs> uh, we mentioned it, but I think it's worth bringing up again and emphasizing what if you have more than one bank account that customers pay into? So like I said in the beginning, once you, um, connecting via Gaviti, you can connect as, as many as bank accounts that you want. We can have multiple banks and you can have multiple accounts in the same bank. So there's no limitation. You can connect any bank uh, that you want within the countries that we uh, support. And of course, we will add the list um, of the countries when we will finish. Right. Okay. The next part. So. The next part will be um, the credit uh, the credit application management. And I want to invite uh, Colleen Ritterhouse, the director of accounting, one of our customers, Perform CB. So uh, Colleen, the stage is yours. Tell us a little bit how you're doing the credit management and if you're doing it. Okay, thank you so much, Leah. Hi, everybody. Uh, so yeah, our current uh, credit process, especially the beginning steps are just very, very manual. Uh, we've automated a lot of our processes, but credit is not one of them. So what we do at this stage is first step is we send the marketer a credit app via like a DocuSign. Um, and so they have to fill that out, sign it, send it back. So like right off the bat, that's not ideal because if anything is wrong in the form or if they need to update it, it's not a good user experience because we have to basically have them completely redo it. So we'll have to resend it ask them to redo it, resign it. Um, so yeah, just a lot of back and forth. Okay, so what would you say would be the best scenario from your side um, 
to have better management of the, of the credit of your customers. Right. So I would say for that first step, I mean, just something where they could go back in and make changes in real time without having to refill out information they've already spent time providing us would be a much <laughs> better solution. Um, yeah. So anything where we're not asking them to duplicate work that we're current, that what our current process makes them do if there's any changes or updates that they need to make, they're having to duplicate work, which is obviously frustrating to them. Okay, and um, you remember any case that the way that you're managing the credit today made you, I don't know, to have some sort of a big loss or you, you, you um, look too late that one of the customers is way behind his credit limit? It's something that happened? Yes, definitely. Uh, especially we have a really great credit manager at this time. So she's like on it, but back well before we hired her, yeah, we definitely ran into issues from time to time where by the time we realized someone had gone so far beyond their credit, it was like too, you know, too late. And now they owed us a ton of money. Uh, so we're, we have a much better process at this point with regards to that, but because we have um, our own system that kind of tracks it as well. However, we do still have a lot of manual steps beyond just the credit app. Like from there, our credit manager has to log into CreditSafe and DMBI separately, pull their credit reports, manually enter that information into our ERP, which then feeds into our internal soft, our internal platform. Um, and, and again, then whenever there's a reevaluation necessary, she has to repeat all these steps once again. So it's just a lot of manual work and just kind of disjointed where it's not all in one place. And she's having to go to a lot of different places and then also present the data, like get the data in a presentable format to take to our CFO for approval. So it's a lot, a lot of work um, on her, especially. Definitely, it sounds, it sounds exhausting. Um... <laughs> Okay, so first of all, thank you, Colleen, for sharing this with us. So I'm going, I'm going to tell you a few words about our new model, and then we're going to deep dive um, to the demo. So first of all, like Colleen said, um, the credit management process, starting from the way, starting from the moment that you're sending the form to your customer or prospect, you need to do evaluation, you need to do monitoring, and then you need to update the customer and again, monitoring it all the time. So one of the first thing that we thought when we created this module is what you as our customers facing. I meaning you need to know who will pay on time, who won't pay on time, how many open invoices this customer has, does he exceeded or not exceeded the limit that we gave them. It could be that a certain, um, customer exceeded the credit limit, but nobody knows, or you, uh, like Colleen said, you notice it um, uh, too late. And think that once you have a lot of notification in the, in the same platform regarding one customer, so immediately you know that you need to check the credit or perhaps you need to look at the payment terms. Another important thing that everything is in the same place, okay? You can see the risk of the customers, you can see the invoices, you can see the open AR. So everything is centralized in one place. Like Colleen said, you don't need to run between platform. You have all the information of the um, customer, the history, how much he owes you. And additional part that we have that you will be able to request a report from CreditSafe in order to understand the main indicator indicators for this customer to receive the best decision, what credit limit we should give them. Um, another thing is, again, like Colleen said, and I guess that a lot of customers here will uh, relate to the situation, is the manual work. I need to send a form to the customer. He needs to answer me. I need to check. I need to save it somewhere. And then I need to take maybe to tell my team on what drive I save it. Then I need to send an email to my, to my customer or prospect to tell him what is the credit limit. Perhaps then he would like to tell me that he forgot to add some uh, documents. And then I need to do everything again. So I will show you in a moment um, um, what we created in the, in the credit application module. 
and think that once you have everything in one place, you will create better relationship with your customers. Once you are transparent and they can see the credit limit, they can see when they exceeded it, they can see from what invoices it occurred. So you have better relationship. You don't need to start, you know, arguing with them and telling them you have a dashboard, you have a report, and it's clear to everybody. So let's go to the live demo. Okay, so this is the main window of the credit management. Here you will be able to see the forms that your customers and your prospect filled. I want to jump for a second to the final solution, and then we'll show you the uh, uh, process from the beginning. So the final, the, in the end, what you will have for each one of your customers, you will be able to see the credit report, the credit indicators from CreditSafe. You will see the credit limit that you gave him. You will be able to see the open AR, how many outstanding invoices and the ratio between the credit limit and the open AR. And you will be able to decide in your uh, platform what is the threshold that you want to give? For example, you want to know for all customers, once they arrive 75% of their credit limit, you want to be notified internally, okay? So it's something that you will be able to define and to send it to you. Now, in order to receive this result and to see this information for each one of your customers, let's start the process from the beginning. So. The first thing we're going to do, we want to send to all our customers the form. We're going to the workflows, as most of you uh, customers of Gaviti familiar with that. We go into the statement. We will just add in the statement the credit form. You can write in the email any wording or description that you want to send, and you can send this form to any email list of your customer that is updated in Gaviti. Some of our customers have different escalation level, different groups, any emails of the customers that is updated in Gaviti, you can send them the form. Now, from the um, customer or prospect point of view, this is the email that I will receive. I will receive an email, tells me um, my vendor wants to have a credit check, and they will click the form and fill it. Once they click the form and fill it, you will see the form here in uh, the credit safe window and uh, the credit safe window. And now we can start and examining each request one by one. So let's open this request for a second. I can see here that the customer filled all the necessary fields. I want to request from CreditSafe the indicators. Um, and now I need to decide what is the credit limit that I give to this customer. As long as we're still examining and pending this request, if I am your customer or prospect and I register to the account payable assistant, I see that it's still pending and I can still edit the report, meaning I can change the report, I can edit information, I can upload documents. Usually we have a bank statement or a recommendation from another customers. So as long as this spending, um, the customer have his own dashboard to still update work, add information, and you will receive it immediately um, in, the cash in the credit application uh, window. Now, let's say that I review all the information, the credit report, I review everything and I want to edit. I decided that I want to give to these customers $5,000. I will review. Huh? Five million, okay, I was, I, was, I was generous. Okay, I was generous. And I gave them five, uh, five million and I'm- Generous. Yes. Um, I, I got really good recommendation regarding this customer and I gave them a credit limit of $5 million. 
once I saved it, you see, first of all, this icon became review, meaning it's approved. And when I will go to this, um, this customer will go to his dashboard, he will see exactly the same. He will see that this is approved, meaning he can't add it or add more information. They will see that the credit limit that was gave them is 5 million. And also in addition to this, the person who filled the form will receive an email notifying them that this is the credit limit that was set. So no more mails that you need to send or start to have a correspondence on ask for documents. Everything is done in Gaviti. It's transparent to your customers and prospect and also to you. You can manage everything in one place. And like I said, when you go in to the customer profile, you can see all the information here. Let's take an example that um, you set alerts for 75% ratio between the credit limit and the AR. And you see that you're receiving a lot of notifications for this customer. So now you know that you need to check something. Maybe we gave them a higher rate of a credit limit, like $5 million. Maybe we need to check the payment terms that we gave them, but it gives you alerts in order to change it and you can change it in real time. Once you change the credit limit of your customer, again, they will receive an email telling them that uh, the credit limit was, um, was changed. Now, let's say that you want to send this form um, to a prospect, not to a customer, because if it's not a customer yet, it doesn't classify it as a customer in your ELP, and we don't have this email or company in Gaviti. In this case, we created here an option to send this credit form to any email that you want, if it's in Gaviti or outside. And once you're writing the email and sending the form, um, the process is exactly the same. This person will receive an email, he will fill the form, you will see the form here, you will be, to ex you will be able to examine it, to ask a report from CreditSafe. And once this prospect will become a customer, you will be able to connect this form to this customer. You will have a Dropbox of all your customers and connect this form, meaning the information won't be lost even if we started the credit application from a prospect and not a customer. So if I'm going to summarize before we will move to your questions, everything is one place. You have the same form for all your customers. You don't need to do a manual work. You don't need to ask for your customers for a documents. Uh, Gaviti will update them immediately once you decided on the credit limit. So you not need to go and start and check um, the emails. Everything is transparent. Your customers can see the credit limit, if it was approved or not, and also if you change that. And uh, like I said, it's much better way to have the relationship with your um, customers. Um, so this was from my end, and now we can go to, uh, I guess we have a question yes. from our uh, audience. Yes, yes, we have some questions. Uh, we have some questions. As, again, a reminder, if you uh, want to ask questions, you've got the Q&A icon, you can post them and we'll try and answer all the questions. Uh, the first question, um, do we have the possibility of requesting a credit report even if the customer doesn't fill out the form? Yes, you will be able to write the customer name in the form and ask it from uh, credit safe. And if some of you will want more detailed report, we will be also be able to uh, to give that. Um, ah, another another country uh, question: uh, Which countries are eligible to use the credit safe reports? So again, US, Canada, and we have some countries in Europe or Asia. We will send it. Uh, we will send this information of the countries once we will finish the the webinar. But it's definitely wider than just in the US. Um, if we want to see additional data from CreditSafe. So like I said, we have an API connection with CreditSafe and we're receiving all the information. Our main goal was, first of all, to create you a dashboard with the main indicators. 
that will help you to receive a decision. With time, we will add more and more uh, information from Credit Safe. But like I said, if you need full information or the full report, we can definitely provide that. Um, next question. Are there automated workflows that can be initiated with the credit application data? Um, yes, like I, if I understand the question, so like I showed in the beginning, we mm. can add as you're sending um, automated emails to your customers today, you can automate it, the uh, credit safe request, you can automate it being recalling once a year, you can decide to a group of customers that you want to send them according to the customers in the workflow, exactly like every other rule that you can use in the workflow. Mm -hmm. Um, I think last question that, that we have here, um, can you provide insights into how the, this model can improve collaboration between credit and sales teams? Okay, because first of all, a, you can add your salesperson as an account owner in Gaviti. Once we have the option to send internal alerts regarding the ratio between the credit limit and the open AR, you can also send this email internally to your salespeople, meaning they can receive a notification that one of their customer is close to exceeded the credit limit, and then they can reach out to the customer or they can tell them that they won't be able to provide any goods and they can see also the open invoices. So once the sales, uh, sales rep are part of the customer in Gaviti, they can be part of the loop. They can know exactly what happened. You can send them internal uh, uh, notifications. And again, save time. They don't need to ask you what's going on with each customer and why we didn't sell any more goods because they will be able to see the dashboard. Yeah, I see we, we have a few more questions. Okay. Uh, and uh, do we partner with uh, Dan and Brad Street? We partner with uh, Credit Safe, that is one of the uh, biggest companies in the in the US. So if you want to add them. Uh... Yes, we're also currently in uh, conversations with uh, Dan and Brad Street, Experian, and a few other credit bureaus. Um, this will be added uh, within a couple of months. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have a lot of interesting things in the roadmap. <laughs> Can you push credit review results uh, to Salesforce? I think it's something that yeah, can, can, can we push credit review results to Salesforce? So with regards to uh, pushing data into Salesforce, we don't push it directly from Gaviti to Salesforce, but we do provide you with the information and the interface in order for you to be able and do it um, on your own, for example, using Zapier, using Workato, or those uh, that are more tech savvy, also using Amazon S S3 buckets. Okay, great. Um, I think these are all the questions that we have. Okay. Yeah, do you want to summarize? Uh, yes. Yeah, so first of all, thank you everybody who joined us today. I hope it was useful. And if someone have more questions, I can stay on the Zoom for a few more minutes. We will send to everybody the recording of this uh, meeting with the uh, information and also a link to set a meeting with me and uh, my team to have further discussion. I can tell you that we already have few customers that uh, connected their uh, bank accounts and experiencing uh, the tool. So we, ha we have really good feedbacks um, and I hope it was useful. Yeah, thank you. I want to thank Colleen and Clement for joining us. Definitely. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you everyone for joining. We'll send the follow-up and the recording. Uh, and if you want to schedule some time to discuss the deeper, we'll send the links in the follow-up email. Thank Great. you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.